In this video, we will go through a quick overview and demo of Argo Rollouts. Argo Rollouts is a progressive delivery controller which provides additional update strategies such as Blue, Green, and Canary to Kubernetes. And it does this by integrating with various service meshes and ingress controllers for the purposes of shaping and safely shifting traffic to versions of the application. During an update, Argo Rollouts will query metric providers and perform analysis on the update. And based on these metrics, is able to either automatically promote the rollout to the new version or roll back to the previous stable version. So first off, let's explain what exactly is progressive delivery. Progressive delivery is the practice of gradually rolling out an update to a progressively larger and larger subset of users. And by doing this, you are able to limit the potential negative impact of the update in the event that something goes wrong. Let's see how this can be applied in practice using Argo rollouts. Let's say we want to deploy version 2 of our application. After updating our spec, rollouts can expose a small percentage of traffic to that new version, let's say 5%. The controller then waits while metrics are collected on the application behavior after the update. Next, those metrics will be analyzed to determine whether or not the change is causing any problems. If it's going smoothly, the update continues and the weight is increased again and the process repeats. Otherwise, if the analysis fails, then Argo rollouts will abort the update and automatically roll back to the previous stable version. Argo rollouts introduces some new custom resources to your cluster. The rollout custom resource is intended to be a drop-in replacement for a deployment. It has an identical spec, but with added blue-green and canary strategies. The rollout manages your networking and service mesh-related resources in order to shape the traffic according to your rollout steps. It then automates the promotion of your rollout based on analysis. Analysis is a custom resource which lets you describe how to perform analysis. It lets you define what metrics to measure and when, and how to interpret those measurements. As an update is happening, Analysis continuously queries metric providers to measure the success of the update. So now we'll go through a quick demo of Argo rollouts in action. At the top left is the kubectl Argo rollouts plugin, showing a visual representation of a rollout. This rollout is using the Canary strategy with the Istio traffic routing integration. It's running with a single replica and it's currently running revision one of our application. At the top right, we have our demo application. And every bubble that you see floating by is a request which our browser is making to the backend. Uh, the backend responds with a color which indicates which version of the app it is. There's a bar chart at the bottom which represents the percentage of requests that were handled by the different versions of the backend. And right now, since we are only running a single version, it's showing it as 100% of the blue. At the bottom right of the screen is Kiali, which is a management console for the Istio service mesh. Currently, it's showing us that we have traffic coming from the Istio gateway, which is being split between two services, Istio Rollout Stable and Istio Rollout Canary and 100% of that traffic is being directed to the stable version. And currently, both of the services are reaching the same set of pods. Finally, at the bottom left is the rollout specification. And as you can see, the rollout looks uh, nearly identical to the deployment resource, but it does have a new section which contains the canary update strategy. The strategy describes the steps that the rollout will take during an update. And for now, you should understand that the rollout will initially direct 10% of the traffic to the canary and then pause indefinitely. So let's go ahead and perform an update. I am going to change the image from the blue uh, to the yellow image.
So what you see happening is that the controller has started spinning up the new version of the application, uh, which you can see by the revision two replica set. Um, and once the new version is running, if you can recall from our steps, the rollout will send 10% of the traffic to the canary and then pause indefinitely. In our demo application, you can now see the yellow version of the backend is servicing some of our requests. And from the bar chart, uh, roughly 10% of the requests are being handled by the yellow version. Uh, the rollout controller also kicked off uh, analysis run, and that's going to take some time to um, gather some measurements. So while we're waiting, let's go ahead and look at the analysis spec. So this is the analysis template that our rollout is using. This analysis is using the Prometheus metric provider and performing queries at 20 second intervals. Uh, the query that it's performing is taking the total number of non-500 requests and dividing it by total requests, which is effectively our success rate. That result is then evaluated by the success condition, which if it ever drops below 90%, the analysis will fail and we will automatically roll back. In the plugin, each of these green ticks represents a measurement which was taken and evaluated as successful. And in Kiali, we can now see that roughly 10% of the traffic is reaching our Canary service, uh, which is then being directed to the uh, Canary pods. So now let's introduce some errors in our application and see how the rollout behaves. Uh, so our demo app allows me to adjust the error rate uh, using this slider. And I will do that for the uh, yellow, yellow service. OK, so I, I basically injected errors for our yellow backend. And what should now happen is that the next measurement that the controller takes should evaluate to a success rate below 90%, uh, which will then abort the rollout. And looking at Hiali, uh, we, if you look at the traffic pack, we can confirm that this success rate has dropped. And, uh, and now, and sure enough, on the uh, plugin, we see that it took a failed measurement, as indicated by this red X. Uh, and the analysis run has been marked um, failed, and the replica set has uh, then been scaled down, and the rollout is now uh, degraded. And from our demo app, we can see that um, our backend is no longer servicing any uh, requests by our yellow version. So that's a quick demo of Argo rollouts. Argo Rollouts integrates with many common service meshes and ingress controllers, including the ones listed here. One thing to note is that the use of a service mesh or ingress controller is optional, since it is possible to achieve canary and blue-green updates without the use of a traffic provider. In addition, Rollouts also integrates with common metric providers. You can also perform queries against your own custom metric provider, or even run Kubernetes jobs to determine the success of analysis using your own container and scripts. To learn more about rollouts, please visit our GitHub page, read our blog, or join our Slack.